So you mean there's still no news? <laughs> I'm just tired of everything. A week has gone by and still no news. The police keep saying they, they are searching, but they haven't come up with anything so far. Lucy, these things take time, okay? We need to be more patient. I know. Listen, Lucy. You need to put up a brief front for Jim. He went to school, right? I practically had to force him to school. This whole thing has been so hard on him. He keeps asking me where his daddy is. I can imagine the pain that boy must be going through. But come to think of it, Lucy, do you really think Fred has been kidnapped? Jim, I don't know. This whole thing is just confusing for me. Because if he's been kidnapped, at least the kidnappers would have demanded for ransom by now. But so far, nothing. You know, I don't know why I have this very strong feeling that everything will be fine. I pray so. Yeah. It's almost 3 p.m. I need to go and pick up Jim from school. Okay, um, we'll go together, okay? I, I'll drop halfway. Sure. Yeah? Okay. Let me get my keys. I'm picking up my son from classes. Yeah, so I just got here. Okay, bye. Yes. Yeah, he Good just got here. Good afternoon, boy. How are you? Fine. Okay. All right, let's go home. So sorry, I have not checked on you in a while. That's okay. I know your job is quite demanding. How is the family? Well, they are good. And Jim? Jim is fine. He's taking this whole thing surprisingly well. He's such a wise boy. You know, he's showing so much maturity for his age. Yes, he is. I'm so lucky to have a son like Jim. First disappearance has been a big blow. We're hanging on there. So, um, I came to tell you something. Mm, go ahead. So yesterday, when I picked up Jim and we're going home, 
I noticed this car following us. It was quite scary. Wow. Are you sure of this? Because you're going through such a hard time right now and it could just be that your emotions... Oh, no, 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 no. This has nothing to do with emotions. For some reason, I feel these people could be responsible for Fred's disappearance and they're probably back to take me and my son. Calm down, calm down, okay? I can assure you that I and my men were on top of the situation. Your father and I were close friends for, for many, many years. All of these years, he was so good to me and my family. I will do everything in my power to help you, okay? Thank you, sir. Now, um, you're going to tell me everything you can remember about yesterday. All the places you went, the description of the car, every single thing. Every single thing. Can you do that? Good, good. Um, you needed to see the way Mama spoke to me. I have never felt so bad in my entire life. Shoma, I don't know how long I can continue like this. You know, I really wish I was there. Oh yes, I would have faced her myself. I mean, how could she possibly think that you are responsible for Fred's disappearance? I don't know. I just don't know. God knows how much I love Fred. And for Mama to even conceive that kind of thought is worrisome. Who knows what other people are thinking out there? No, Lucy. That should not even cross your mind. You shouldn't be worried about what people are saying. That shouldn't be your concern at all. Your major priority now is Junior. You need to focus on him. Okay? I'm trying my best, Shoma. It's not easy. It's not easy at all. I mean, I, I know it's not easy. But Lucy, you have to keep trying. Okay? By the way, tell me, how is the company doing without Fred? That's another problem. It's, everything is just so hard for me. I'm beginning to regret that I never listened to my father when he wanted me to take over the company. Mm -mm. Listen, girl. You are stronger than you think. Okay? I believe you can do this. Come Monday, you will go to the company and you will continue from where Fred stopped. You are a strong, young, educated woman. And I believe in your abilities. Okay? If Fred could do this, so can you. Everything will be fine, okay? Okay. Okay, so... <clears throat> Let's go prepare something for dinner, all right? No, I'm not hungry. How do you mean, no, you're not hungry? Okay, if you're not going to come, then I'll go myself, okay? Okay. She's even smiling. Girl, that's the smile I want right there. I'm oh, gonna boy. leave without you. I'm not going back to yesterday. Baby, goodbye, I'm on my way.
All right, send her in. responsible <laughs> nothing really you know, I've just been buried in work lately and like you always say there's no time for me to wallow in my self-pity I mean I'm happy to hear that and to see you in a good mood for a change so how is Junior yeah that reminds me um oh he's doing good he's gonna be going to London this month um, to spend some time with my sister and her kids I think the change of environment will do him some good. Yes, um, I mean, that's a good idea. He needs that. Especially now that... Now that what? Oh. <clears throat> Lucy, I didn't want to tell you like this, but... Alex is back in town. Yes. I saw him the other day at the supermarket when I went to get some things. What, 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 what? Lucy, what is going on? What is it? Are you alright? Send the valet to bring my car front. I'm moving right away. I'm closing it. Lucy, where are you going? I'm going to see the DPO. How So, you think Alex has something to do with Fred's disappearance? Yes. Everything says it. My husband disappears and he suddenly comes back. I'll look into it immediately. If he is responsible, he will surely be brought to book. I'll send my men and to bring him in for questioning as soon as possible. Please, please, take good care of your friend. She's in a very bad state and needs to be around someone. You're very correct, sir. I actually think I should move in with her, at least to keep her company. Mm. That's good. She really needs that right now. No, I don't. Chama, I'll be fine, okay? You don't need to leave moving with me. Mm -mm. You will not be fine on your own. Listen, I'm your best friend, okay? And there is no way I'm letting you go through all of this by yourself. Do you know I'm not that kind of person? <laughs> Thanks. Well, that reminds me, um, Lucy, have you noticed any unusual thing like the car incident since the last time we spoke? Mm, no, I haven't. Um, everything has been quite normal until she told me about the news. Um, what car incident? Nothing that serious. Besides, I've forgotten about it. Yes, yes. My officers are on it, and I can assure you there is nothing to worry about. All right, then. Um, I think we will take our leave now, then. No, we we'll take care of ourselves. Detective Coldman from the CID headquarters. You are needed at our station for questioning. <laughs> questioning? For what? 
Are you sure this is the Alex you're looking for? Hey, mister. We are not here for jokes. Either you come with us quietly, or we move you forcefully. <laughs> you hold it. Sure. You should hold it. Uh, what is all this? I mean, what is going on here? I came into town three days ago, and I'm already being arrested for something I do not know anything about. You better tell me why you guys need me at your station, or else I'm not moving an inch. I know my rights, you know. All right, I'll tell you. We have some questions for you about the sudden disappearance of one Mr. Fred. <laughs> it's funny, huh? I knew it. I said it. See, this is a mishap. Right? I don't know any Mr. Fred. Besides, how am I supposed to know anything about his sudden disappearance? You guys have gotten the wrong person here. Will you stop wasting our time and come with us immediately? Besides, if it's the mix-up, as you say, what do you stand to lose? Officer, move him. Yes, sir. No, 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 no. Chill, chill. Okay, I'll go with you. Let me change. Fast about it, because we don't have all day. See, officers, I've just told you the truth. I don't know what happened to Fred, and I do not even know who Fred is. See, I'm a young man trying to start life afresh all over again. You can start any investigation to confirm my story, because I absolutely have nothing to hide. I see. The rest assured will do just that. If at the end of the day, we found out that you are somehow involved in this, You'll be spending the rest of your life behind bars. There's no need to threaten me, officers. Um, I am innocent and I maintain my position. I know nothing about this. You strike me hard as a strong-headed young man. Look, Mr. Alex, if I were you, I'll confess now and save myself the anguish because, trust me, if you find out that you, you are lying to us, you'll be in trouble. Enough of this. See, I've had enough of this. I followed you out of respect and I've answered all your questions. What else do you want from me? To admit to a crime I know nothing about? Is that what you want? You're not getting that either. So if you have nothing else to ask me, please, I'd like to take my leave right now. You'll be allowed to leave soon, Mr. Alex. Look, but let me warn you. Be sure you have just told us the truth. Or else... Please. Can I go now? Good day, sir. Good day. Sir! We are through with Mr. Alex. May we have your permission to let him go, sir? Let him go? Were you able to obtain any information from him? No, sir. We've questioned him thoroughly, but he insists he knows nothing. Is that so? We'll see about that. Where is he now? He's still in the interrogation room, sir! Good. I will see him immediately. Yes, sir. Lance Corporal Ephraim reporting. Permission to follow, sir. Follow. Yes, sir. Mr. Alex, my officers tells me you have refused to cooperate. I guess you are the DPO. You're right, I am. So start talking. 
This is getting too much. I'm going crazy. Did you say something? Sir, I have told your officers I know nothing about the disappearance of Fred or whoever he is. Can you please let me go? Tell me something. Why are you in town after such a long time? Could it be to torment your ex-wife because she has moved on? I hope for your sake you're telling the truth. This is a personal case. And I'm going to go hard on all the culprits, or culprits, as the case may be. Do you want to torment my ex-wife? But what has Lucy got to do with this? The missing man is her husband. What? I can believe, but I'll do. Doesn't matter what you're gonna say. Yes, you don't have to be with her, I mean, till everything is fine. Yes, she needs her best friend right now. <sighs> anyway, how's the course going? <laughs> good to hear that, good to hear that. Yes, I miss you too. Love you, boo. Speak to you later. Alright then, bye. Dan sends his regards. <laughs> I still envy you both. I miss Fred so much. He was a good husband, good father, good everything. Is Lucy. What? Yes, is. You, you said was. Fred is not dead. Is he not? It's been months now and there's still no whereabout of his body. The police are clueless of his whereabouts. So what am I supposed to think? Lucy, we're not doing this again. Okay, Fred is not dead. At least his body hasn't been found. Well, God forbid. Okay. <sighs> Just stop using past tense while referring to him. Your husband is going to come home, okay? Thank you so much, Yama. You're such a wonderful friend. I don't know what I would have done without you. Mm -hmm. It's okay. And everything is going to be fine. All right, then. This is where I bid you farewell. All right, then. Take care of yourself. All right. Okay? your help urgently. It's very important. Where do we meet? Okay, I'll be there in 20 minutes. Angela, is that all for the day? Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Just a second. Hello? Hi, Trevor. All right. Is he ready? Okay, I'll be there soon. Bye. 
Angela, I need you to shift my stuff and other appointments to tomorrow. I need to drop off my son at the airport. Excuse me. Yes, Angela. Um, there was a deal the husband was working on before he... Angela, I need to get going, okay? We'll talk about it tomorrow. But I suggest you take it along to go through the files because they've been waiting on a feedback for a very long time. A long time? Yes, please. And you're telling me about it today? I'm sorry, ma. It's just that... Angela, just give me the file. So that is it. We brought him in for questioning, but we couldn't obtain any information from him. Listen, he may not know it, but we have our eyes on him. I didn't want you to go through the stress of coming down to the station again. That's why I decided to come over and see how you're doing. Thank you. I appreciate the gesture. You're welcome. But listen, I have a strong feeling that he is part of this somehow. Lucy, Lucy, I don't want you to keep worrying yourself about this. Leave everything to us. We will get to the root of it. I hope so. Hey, hello, Gemma. Well, that is it for now. I will keep you posted as the events unfold. Fred will surely be found. We are not giving up. You shouldn't too. Okay? Him, right? Don't give up. Okay? I won't. It's just that I miss him so much. I know, I know. But I don't know why I have this strong feeling that everything will be fine. Okay? Cheer up. Cheer up, girl. Cheer up. For what? So you can facilitate my disappearance too? No, Lucy. I know nothing about your husband's disappearance. I don't care. Just stay away from me, okay? Stay away from me! Lucy. Please listen to me. I just want to help. I don't need it. I don't need it, okay, Alex? Listen, stay away from me. I won't say this again. I can believe, but I'll do Doesn't matter what you're gonna say I pray to find a better day I'm so sorry, but that's just the way it is What is wrong with you? What's wrong? I mean, where are the things you went out to buy? What is the problem? Lucy? I saw Alex today. What? Oh my God, what did he do to you? Did he hurt you? He, he didn't do anything to me. Oh God, this is getting out of hand. What does he want from you? He wants to help me, he said. <laughs> Isn't that funny? 
My ex-husband wants to help me find my current husband. You oh. see, listen, I, I think you should go to the police again. No, I'm not going there again. Shema, what have they done with my case so far? It's been months now since Fred went missing. And they haven't been able to give me a clue. But you know these things take time, Lucy. I'm sure they're doing all they can. Have they? Please. Lucy, if you will not report this, I will. Okay? I'm not going to sit here and watch you put yourself in danger. I can't believe it is true. It doesn't matter what you're gonna say. I'm gonna find a better day I'm so sorry But that's just the way it is Are you still going to deny the fact that you came back for her? I am not denying or accepting anything. Alex. She's married. She moved on. You just have to keep off. Are you joking? Her husband is missing. And everybody thinks that I am responsible. I am not keeping off. All right. All right. Suit yourself. I hate to ask, but I will need your help. Just keep me posted. Surprisingly, I'm doing a wonderful job right now at the office. Hmm. <laughs> That's good to hear. Yep. So, don't mind. I'll be traveling to see my mother later this week. Uh, she's down with fever. Again? Yes. I hope it's nothing that serious. Yeah, I hope so too. Um. Are you sure you're going to be fine by yourself? Of course I'll be fine. Your mother needs you. Are you sure? Positive. <laughs> okay then, I will leave by Friday. Please don't scream. I'm not going to hurt you. I just want to talk. Listen, I do not want to listen to what you have to say, okay? I'm not interested. Well, I have a lot to tell you. Well, I'm not interested. I'm afraid you have to because it's about your missing husband. I knew it! I knew it! I just knew it! Where is he, Alex? Where is my husband? Call this number. For the good of everyone. Don't let anybody know. Not even the police. Uh -uh. 
that you have that look on your face. I'm fine. Mm. Yeah. What um, is the problem? I mean, you know you can talk to me about anything. I'm fine, Chioma. I guess I'm just missing my son, that's all. <laughs> well, if it's about that, then we all know summer is almost ending. Okay, so just stay put. I know, I know. <laughs> Are you ready to go? Oh, yes, I am. All right, then, then let me change up and go and drop you no, off, okay? No, 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 no. Girl, you need to sit this one out, okay? Just sit and enjoy your weekend. I'll take a taxi, okay? Are you sure? Of course I'm sure. All right, extend my regards to your mom. Okay. Mm. Okay, she's here. And apart from the fact that you miss your son, I hope every other thing is fine. Yes, everything is fine, Chiyama. You worry too much. Well, if I don't worry about it, who will? Isn't that what they always say? <laughs> All right, girl. I'll call you, okay? All right, take care of yourself. Bye. Son. Yes, ma'am. I've already gone through it though, but I'll need you to cross check before signing. And then I'll need the other file I gave you the last time. Thank you so much. My neck has been protesting because it's been bent all day long looking at files. Oh, God. So you want me to look at it and sign? Okay. Mr. Fred used to. It's okay, Angela. I'm not going to stop reeling each time my husband's name is mentioned. I'm beginning to accept my fate. I'm so sorry, Ma. I've been praying for you. So sad. Oh, thank you so much, Angela. I really appreciate it. And as for that file, I just keep forgetting to look at it. Damn. You know what I'm gonna do? Mm, I'm gonna make sure I look at it this weekend and I bring it back on Monday morning, okay? Okay, all right then. I'll just send an email to the clients and ask them till then. They should wait. Perfect. Yes. All right, thank you.
girl. Yeah. God, you look like you. I know, you don't need to tell me. I know. I am tired to the bone. I have so many files to work on at the office. So how is your mom? Ah, she's all right. She's fine. I mean, I had to take her to the hospital myself. But she's really upset with you. Yes, for not coming with me to see her. Did you tell her Fred was missing? No. But you mean there's still no news? Nothing. Oh my God. Yes, yes, I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. No, no, no. Listen, I spent the entire day looking for the file, but I could not find it. No, 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 no. Listen, I swear. I'll find it. I'll find it. Yes, yes, please. I just need more time. Hello? 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 Okay. Uh, I need to borrow a dress from your wardrobe. It's that okay? Um, of course, Miss Laboro. Go ahead. <laughs> okay, thank you. White and the blue striped um, gown. Good choice. Okay, um, thank you. Okay, good try. It will definitely look good on you. All I'll right. be out soon. Okay, um, later then. What are you doing here? And how the hell did you find this place? Can I come in? What do you want? Why do not you call the number I gave you? I do not owe you any explanation on what I choose to do or not to do. You're so wrong, Lucy. You owe me an explanation. Excuse me? You hurt me. I was minding my business when you sent policemen after me. And now I'm neck deep in this. I don't understand. Neck deep down in what? 
Your husband is still missing, isn't he? Lucy, I just want to help. Believe me. Please, come on. Can I come? I can believe that I'll do. Doesn't matter what you're gonna say. I pray to find a better day. Alex, you're saying nothing. I need more time. I know Lucy very well. You know I was once married to her, remember? I need more time to convince her. We both know that's what we don't have. This is dangerous. I'm trying to save my head here. I've got family. I'm doing my best. Trust me. I am. Look, Peter. I know you've been covering for me all this while. And I appreciate you for that. But I need more time, please. Okay. Okay. Be specific. How much more time do you need? One month. Two weeks. Three. Please. Fine. Three weeks and nothing more. Just do what you have to do. Thanks. Tell me there's food in this house because I've expended my energy at the gym. Yes, there's food in the kitchen. Thank God. Chama. Yes? Did you by any chance see any file in this house? A file? Because I, I brought it home like two weeks ago and I can't seem to find it anywhere in my room. I, I haven't seen any file. Are you sure you brought it home? I don't even know again. I just have so much on my mind, I can't seem to keep track of things. Um, you know what, there's really nothing to worry about, okay? Um, I'll help you look for it. As long as the file is here, we'll find it, okay? But let me just get something to eat first. Yeah? This early morning, Mike. 
Oh, the name doesn't ring a bell. Oh, you know, just send the person here. Thanks. Hi, Lucy. You yeah, have it. You again. Yeah. And this time around, I'm not leaving until you hear me out. That's not necessary. I can call security if I want. Yeah, that's true. But we both know you want to do that. You have five minutes and I'm calling security. You said he has something to say, so say it. Open the envelope, Lucy. Two minutes. Open the damn envelope! How dare you raise your voice at me? How dare you? You walked out of our marriage for years without a word. And left me in so much pain. And you just return and think I'll be interested in what you have to say? What that envelope contains has nothing to do with us. You really need to see what's in there. Yeah, leave. Leave like you always do, Alex. Get back to your desk, Angela. I'm fine. Ma, get back to your desk. I'm gonna leave without you. I'm not, not going, going back to yesterday. yesterday. Baby, goodbye. I'm on my way. I can't believe it is true. It doesn't matter what you're gonna say. My mom has fallen ill again. I don't know how long I'll be gone for. Take care of yourself, Choma. Somewhere. It's none of your business. See, you see. If you're going to the police station, I'll strongly advise you not to. At least not now. Let them concentrate on finding your your husband. I beg of you. I beg you. In the name of God, please leave me alone. I have so much going on right now. And I just... Oh, I just can't do this. Please, Lucy, leave me alone. Whether you like to admit it or not, you need my help. And that is what I'm here to do. I left you on notice and I'm not ready to do that anymore. Please, let me help you. I'm so sorry, but that's just the way it is. 
We can talk tomorrow if you're not up for it. It's okay, I'm fine. I'm used to this. I cry almost every day. And that's no way to live life. Says the runaway ex-husband. Lucy, I... The questions, please. Okay. When was the last time you heard from her? That was the morning you passed by the office. On my way to work, she called me asking if she could wear my shoes. How did she sound over the phone? She sounded normal. And I could remember I was teasing her about the fact that she always loved to borrow my stuff. And we laughed about it. If she was up to something, she didn't show it. So nothing else is missing apart from the file? Yes. And I had even asked about the file. And she lied to me that she hadn't seen it. Did you go through the file? And what was the content? <laughs> That's the thing. I didn't get the chance to open up the file. I just kept forgetting to look through it. I wish I had just opened it up for just a second to see what was in it. Stop blaming yourself. You wouldn't have known she was going to take it. <laughs> wow. Chioma. Chioma was the last person standing. I woke up every day so thankful that she was the only one by my side. I mean, how could she lie to me? find her. I promise. I, I'm going upstairs to get some rest. I'm coming down with a headache. Okay. <clears throat> I'll find my way out. You can close the door behind you or just leave the key under the mat. You see. Everything will be fine. Learning to live without you. Saying goodbye to yesterday. No looking back, I'm on my way. I can believe, but I'll do. Doesn't matter what you're gonna say. I pray to find a better day I'm so sorry But that's just the way it is Too late to keep asking myself Should I leave? Should I stay? Are you okay? You still haven't answered my question. What are you doing here? I don't remember asking you to spend the night here. I'm just looking out for you, okay? I left, but I kept having this bad feeling about you being in this big house all by yourself. So I came back. Alex, I am not a child, okay? This is not right. What is not right? You spending the night here. I am married for heaven's sake. Really? Well, I, I don't see your husband around here. I beg your pardon? What did you just say? Sorry. Listen, I do not want to see you here by morning. To keep asking myself 
Should I leave? Should I stay? Should I taste how it feels to walk away? Cause if I leave, I'm not sure where I'll be going Cause I can't stand a chance of starting all over again Good day, sir. <sighs> Sorry to have kept you waiting. That's okay. You said you had wanted to see me. Um, any news on Fred? I'm sorry, but still no news. But I can assure you we are still on it. And actually, I called you here to talk about your ex-husband. Alex, what about him? Not to be seen as somebody who is prying into your privacy or anything. It's just that I think you should be far away from him as much as possible. At least until we round up our investigations on this case. Okay. First of all, I am staying away from him. And second of all, I thought you said Alex had nothing to do with Fred's disappearance. Or is there any reason I should think otherwise? <laughs> no. No, no, no. Not at all. As uh, somebody who cares so much... Thank I you. Want... I appreciate you looking out for me. It's okay. It's okay. Is your friend back? No, she's not. So you're in that house all alone? Have you forgotten I have Abdullah, My ever loyal gatekeeper? I know, but that's not what I'm talking about. I am fine on my own, sir. Okay then. Okay then. I was just looking out for you. Thank you. Oh, wow. Well. Madam, please, I have, a, I have a message for you. Message? Message from who? Uh, from a... Uh, Naman. Naman who came here. <laughs> Naman who came to sleep here. <laughs> but uh, you didn't go there. Madam. Ah! What a bombshell! That man fine. Madam, that man is so fine. He has this hexagon body, madam. Is it a fan pass or girlfriend? I'm telling you, you guys. Abdullah, will you just give me the message? Uh, okay. Uh, he said I should tell you that uh, don't cry. Eat more. Don't worry. Listen. Do not let him enter this house again. Do you hear me? Yes, madam. But madam, any problem? Because <laughs> what's the problem? I won't warn you again. Wait! Wait! I'm good, yourself? Auntie Lucy, I know you're upset with me for not being keeping in touch with you since since. No, I'm not upset with you, Pat. Come on. I know you're always rooting for me. Okay. How's everybody? How's my man and everything? Auntie Lucy, Mama collapsed yesterday. As I speak to you now, she's on admission at the hospital. Oh my God, what happened? The doctor said she has brain tumor and has to be operated on as soon as possible. But but the money they're asking for, we don't have it. I'm confused. What do you mean you don't have the money? I know Fred sends you both huge sums of money as monthly allowance. You caught 200 CDs huge sum of money. 200 what? But first said he... Auntie Lucy, please. I know the last time we were here, Mama was not nice to you. But please, help her. I've lost my brother Fred already. And I'm not willing to lose her too, please. You know what? Why don't we go to the hospital no, right no, now? No, 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 Auntie Lucy. Please, that would not be a good idea. 
You know how mama gets anytime she sees you, please. Yeah, you're right. All right, um, then I'll just sign you a check and then drop you off. Auntie Lisa, so really? Oh, thank you, thank you, thank that's you. That's all right, that's all right. I'm so grateful. Take care of mama, all right? I will. I will, Auntie Lisa. Thank you so much. No clue who this is from. Trash it. Ma, trash it? Yeah. Mama, it's very beautiful. Um, can I please have it? You can have it if you want it. Good day. Hi, good day. This is awesome. Yes, she is, but she's busy at the moment, so you have to wait a while. Okay. That's beautiful. Oh, thank you. Mm. Excuse me, sir. Hello? Yes, please. Okay. The meeting is still on at 1 p.m. Okay. Please, ma'am, Mr. Alex is here to see you. Okay, I'll ask him in. Okay, thank you. Please, you may go in. Okay, thank you. Alex, what do you think you're doing? Dropping over at my house to check on me. Sending me flowers. That needs to stop, Alex. Well, the Lucy I know loves flowers, so. Well, I'm not the same woman you used to know. Thanks to you, I'm a different person now. <laughs> I did a major damage, didn't I? Like I said, stop what you're doing. I'm a married woman, and I don't intend to cheat on my husband. No, 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 hold on. Hold it. And who is talking about cheating on your husband? <laughs> but that's what you feel like doing any time you look at me. Oh, don't you dare talk about my husband. He's ten times the man that you are. And unlike you, he stayed with his wife. to leave. I was madly in love with you then and even now. Nothing has changed but your father. Oh, go ahead. Blame it on my father. Go ahead. Can you just listen to me? I don't want to and I don't have to. Please, Lucy. Just leave. department said, Madam, Madam, this is everything all right. Just, just, just give me a minute, okay? Okay, I will ask him to come back.
to me with all the money you are stashing away, Fred? What? I'm confused. What do you mean you don't have the money? I know Fred sends you both huge sums of money as monthly allowance. You caught 200 CDs huge sum of money. God. God, what do I do? Should I leave? Should I stay? Should I taste how it feels to walk away? Cause if I leave, I'm not sure where I'll be going cause I can't. What are you going to do now? I don't know. She made it clear this time around that she doesn't want to see me anymore. And since when do you do as you're told? This is different, Peter. How do I help someone who can't even stand me? I don't know. But you have to figure out something really fast. Yeah. I think I have to give her some space. Imagine what she's going through right now. See, it can't be easy for her to allow me in after all that we've been through. Well... I guess you know what to do. You said you wanted to help me. Is the offer still on the table? Yes, of course. to know what really happened. Why you walked out of our marriage without a word and where you've been all these years. Your son is so cute. He's got your eyes. Yeah. I miss him so much. Lucy, 
I left because I was so ashamed. And looking back now, I wish I didn't do it. Ashamed? Why? We got married, then I lost my job. I wrote several applications for jobs and I didn't get any, you remember? I was so depressed and I didn't want you to know. So I kept a brave front. I, I never harassed or complained about you losing your job. Yeah, you didn't, but your father did. My father? He never missed the opportunity to always remind me that you are the one who pays the bills. And he taunted me with that every time. How can my father do such a thing? And why didn't you ever tell me this? I couldn't have because I didn't want to spoil the relationship between you and your father. Wow. Yeah. This definitely would have spoiled our relationship. I mean, you were my husband. And my father had no right to ever... Lucy. It's okay. It's all in the past now. Look at me. Leaving has done me lots of good. My only regret was that I left without telling you. Please forgive me. I'm so sorry, but that's Please. just the way it is. Too late to keep asking myself. Should I leave? Should I stay? Should I taste how it feels to walk away? Cause if I leave, I'm not sure where I'll be going. Lucy, what's wrong? I got a call from Chioma. What did she say? She wants to meet me. I hope you told her it's never going to happen. It's a risky thing to do. She stole from you, left your home without telling you where she was going. You have to think about that. I just want to hear what she has to say. I have no doubt whatever she's going to tell you will be lies. All lies. She can't be trusted, you know. Alex, she's my best friend. And for the sake of our friendship, at least I need to hear her out. Okay, that's fine. I'll go with you. Alex. Oh, I don't want to hear it. I can't let you go out there defenseless. And like I said, she can't be trusted. I'll go with you. Okay. 
what a bombshell. <laughs> oga, oga. Abdullah. Yeah, oga, please. When you are mentioning my name, add Subag. Abdullah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. So you haven't changed. How can I change, oga? <laughs> change and eat what? <laughs> what a bombshell. <laughs> okay, um, it's loosening in. Madame. Uh, Madame left early this morning. She said uh, she's going to have some meeting with some people. I mean, important people. Yeah, <laughs> it's very unfortunate. God. Please let her be safe. Okay. <laughs> Are you okay? Any problem? <laughs> yes. Uh, no, no. It's, your, it's like you're carrying the whole Ghana. <laughs> what a mom said. <laughs> That's no problem. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right. Thank you. I'll see you. Oh, what is that? So, upon all these fans, oh, God, oh, God, why, 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 give you all these fans? You left here empty. Hey, oh, God, please. What I hate is disappointment. What I hate is disappointment. I will, I will just give you fans and you come here, you will not give me anything. You understand? If you come here, when I give you fans, you give me something. Next time. Why? 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 What a bombshell. Why did you go there alone? What if something bad happened to you? What were you thinking? Hey, I am not a child that needs to be looked after every minute of the day. And how dare you raise your voice at me? I'll talk to you in this tone and anyhow I want it until you come to your senses. Then maybe it's time to stop helping me. I'll do fine on my own. Lucy. I'm sorry. I'm just worried about you. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I'm fine. Shema didn't even show up. No, but still. I'm gonna leave without you. I'm not, not going, going back to yesterday. yesterday. Baby, goodbye, I'm on my way. I can't I'm so sorry. We shouldn't be doing this. Please, please stop. It doesn't matter I'm sorry, I, I don't know what came over me. I'm gonna find a better day. I should be on my way now. I'm so sorry, but that's Bye. just the way it is. It is too late to keep asking myself. Should I leave? Should I stay? Should I taste how it feels to walk away? Cause if I leave, I'm not sure where I'll be going Cause I can't stand a chance of starting all over
Captain Alex. Hi, wife. It's so good to see both of you together again. Lucy, I told you you have nothing to worry about. Yes, you did. Thank you so much. But, but what really happened? I'll tell you everything, but first I need a shower. Thank you, my brother. You're welcome. Let me take a shower. Baby, I miss you so much. I'm afraid not tonight, okay? We need to get some rest. Babe, what rest again? I've been away for so long. All I just all I just want to do is to make love to you and kiss you all over. I want to know what happened. I've been asking you all day what happened to you. But you don't seem to care to answer me. I tried to make love to you after God knows how long and all you want to find out is what happened. Sometimes I even feel as if you are not even happy that I'm back. Now why would you say that? Do you know the pain and anguish I've been through? I woke up every morning with the fear that I'll be getting a call from the police to ask me to come claim your body. Well that didn't happen. At least I'm back now. Okay? Isn't that all that matters? I want to know where you've been and what happened. You think I don't know what all this is about, huh? The DPO told me whilst I was away you were gallivanting with your ex. Me gallivanting? That's not true. Why would he say such a thing? That explains why you mentioned his name when you opened the door. Now who needs an explanation? Good night. For some strange reason, my alarm didn't go off. Oh, it did. I actually turned it off. Why would you do that? I'm late for work. Work? Yes, work. You just got back yesterday. So what's wrong with that? And you're here talking about going to the office today? Yeah, so. Honey, the office is not going anywhere. Besides, I'm handling things there very well. You need to get some rest. I've heard you, but I'm not in the mood for your little arguments this morning. Excuse me and have a nice day. My dear, you are just worrying yourself for nothing. Nothing is wrong with your husband. After all he's been through, I think you should cut him some slack. I know, it's just that there's something different about him. He's acting so strange. And when I want to help him out, he's making it difficult for me to do that. He has even refused to tell me about the whole incident. Your husband had a very traumatic experience in the hands of those kidnappers. Just give him some time, Lucy. He'll come around. Stop pressurizing him to talk to you about it. I know. I have been hard on him. He wanted to go to work this morning, but I wouldn't hear him out. He did? Yeah. Well, if that would help him, just allow him. Hmm. I 
I guess you're right. Yeah, that reminds me. Fred said you told him about me and Alex. What? I did no such thing. Lucy, you know I wouldn't do that. Besides, what's there to tell? Exactly. So, I was so shocked when he said you told him about myself and Alex. Do you now understand why he said he's acting strange? For him to have told you this, then I must agree with you. Yeah. Hmm. Angela, the file's ready. Because I need to submit it to the man and he... Alex, what are you doing here? I needed to talk to you, but you aren't picking your course. And I'm sure you know the reason why. No, I don't. Um, you tell me. Alex? Fred is back. Yeah, I know. It's part of the reasons I wanted to talk to you. How did you know he was back? Well, well, well. If it isn't my lovely wife, the ex. <laughs> I thought you said you're not galavante with him. What is he doing here? I mean, it's not her fault. I'm the one bothering her. And for whatever I'd worth, uh, just not betrayed you. I think I have to leave now. You shameless woman. Your husband goes missing and you just run into the arms of your ex. Fred, I didn't do anything wrong. Okay. Unbelievable. Shameless. Fool. Thanks for the call. Very much welcome, sir. very upset with me about everything that happened yesterday at the office. I know you're very upset about Alex. But I'm asking for your forgiveness. Please. Please forgive me. You know I cannot stay upset with you for a long time. Because I love you very much. So yes, I've forgiven you. Thank you. But promise me they're gonna stay away from Alex. Promise I will. I think it's about time you go back to work. Really? But you're doing such a great job there. No, you always did a better job in handling things over there.
I've missed you, boss. It's good to have you back. Thank you. Let me leave you to go back to work there. You know it's my own job and I can work anytime. Is that how to say welcome to your boss? You need to sit. I do not have much time. Lucy, please. Shem, I trusted you. Trust me. Please. Please listen to her first. Lucy, I know you have lots of questions to ask, but I need you to listen to me first. <sighs> Thank God you're all right. Why wouldn't I be? Fred is back, isn't he? He told you. Yes. <sighs> Lucy, there is something you need to know. Freddie told Alex everything. Why didn't you come to me first? Alex found me when I was taken. He saved my life. Looks like you had a busy day. Yeah, um, I did, but I'm happy to be back home. I'm just going to freshen up. Your mother was sick while you were away. Yeah, why? Pat came here asking for money. And I was quite surprised. Can you just get straight to the point? She said she had no money. So? You told me that you sent them huge sums of money. Let me explain something to you. This should be the first and last you ever question me about something like this. It is my family and don't you ever interfere. Do you understand me? Thank you. to the supermarket. Do you want me to come with you? Oh no, don't bother yourself. I'm going to the salon afterwards. <sighs> okay, all right, stay safe. All right, I won't be long for tomorrow. Yeah, she just left the house. I want to know exactly what she's up to. Okay, thanks. Honey. 
Honey, is something wrong? I should be the one asking you. You're the one going out every day. Remember I told you that I wanted to start my own blog? Well, that's what I've been working on. I've been meeting up with Chioma's cousin. She's helping me out. So right now, where are you off to? I'm actually going to meet her for more lessons. All right, have a nice day. All right, thank you. Alright, I'll see you later. There's food in the kitchen, okay? Lucy, what are you up to? Hello? Yes, I'm fine, I'm fine. Everything went as planned. He saw the file. But he didn't react the way I thought he would. But I noticed he had this look of surprise in his face. I'm sure he'll be very worried by now. Yeah. Uh-huh. All right then. Okay. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Hi, darling. How was your day? Wonderful, because your wife is going to become the latest blogger in the country very soon. You're a bloody liar. What? I'm not daft, Lucy. I know you've not been meeting with Choma's cousin for blogging lessons or whatever. What are you talking about, Fred? You spoiled brat. You better talk to me or else I swear I'm gonna kill you. Stop talking now! No, Fred. You're not gonna kill me because you need me. <laughs> you're just like your arrogant father. Well, give me the company document. Or else you're gonna end up like your father. We disagreed on a lot of things. Your father made me the head of the company, but guess what? He was still running the show from behind. He was still running the affairs. And then a deal came through. I brought the deal, and then he cut me loose. He made sure I didn't get anything from that deal. So you killed my father because of a deal? Believe it or not, your father was not a saint. You asked me why my mother did not have money? Well, guess what? It was all your father's doing. My father died because he didn't have money for his surgery. And your father made sure I didn't get any penny outside my meager salary. Because he felt I was living the life. He felt I was driving luxurious cars and I was living in his house. I don't, I, I don't understand. I thought... You thought wrong, my dear. Your father hated me so much. He thought I was a gold digger. He saw me as somebody who was just living a flamboyant lifestyle. I figured the only way to get back at him was to kill him and to get everything that he owned. Well, my father was right about you. You think I don't know about the file? Shiamma told me everything about how you abducted her and faked your own kidnapping. You are a despicable man. And evil will catch up with you. If you wanted to walk away, why didn't you do so? Why did you have to do all of this? To leave? Never. Everything here belongs to me. Everything belongs to me. And as for Choma, my boys were just careless. Well, you better get ready for a fight because Alex is on to you! Don't you ever call <coughs> that name here again. Do you understand me? Well, thanks for reminding me. Because I have a new problem to solve.
She's not picking up. I think something is not right. I think so too. I don't know what is going on, but I've been calling her since yesterday and she's not been picking up. I really hope she's okay. I swear to God, if he harms a single hair on her head, I'll kill him. Calm down. Calm down, man. Instead of swearing, let's look out for a way to help Lucy. I know Lucy's in trouble. We need to figure out a way to help her as soon as possible. We all know who Fred is and what he's capable of doing. I know. I think I have an idea. I didn't know how to get your number, I would have called you. Called me? Yes. Why? Lucy left home yesterday to the supermarket and she hasn't been back since. I see. What, you think I'm lying? I don't think you're lying. I know you are lying. Where's she? How did this happen? Lucy will explain everything to you. You just got back yesterday. So what's wrong with that? And you're here talking about going to the office today? I've heard you, but I'm not in the mood for your little arguments this morning. Excuse me. Let me explain something to you. This should be the first and last you ever question me about something like this. It is my family and don't you ever interfere. Do you understand me? <laughs> you better talk to me or I swear I'm gonna kill you. So you killed my father because of a deal? Wow. I can't believe Fred did all this. <sighs> he even faked his own kidnap?
Um, apart from me, have you told any other person? I told him you were the best person to contact. Good, good. You did the right thing. Alex, please come with me. Shut up, both of you! I've been in on this from the very beginning. Why do you think I convinced you not to run an autopsy on your father when he died? You? Surprise, surprise. <laughs> yes! Fred was an enemy of your father, so I became his friend. Your father was a monster. I'm very greedy too. Do you know how he made his wealth? From cheating others. I lost everything at the point in my life because of him. I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry that my father did that to you. But what would you achieve by killing me? I'm innocent in this. You shut up! If you had allowed Fred's plan to work, we wouldn't be having this conversation right now. I'm sorry, but I have to do this. Please, please. Cheated death yet again. Yeah. What can I say? I'm a cat with nine lives. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for coming. You saved the day. You're welcome. <laughs> you must have been a fool to have left her. She is. No. See, I know. I'm not leaving her again. Anyway, you're not seeing what I'm saying. Her friend is not bad either. pick up Jim. Yeah. I know. But I understand if you don't want me to go with you. Of course I want you to come with me. He's your blood. What? tell you. 
I was pregnant when you left, Alex. I'm a father. Yes. Yes, you are. And I can't wait for your son to finally meet his real father. Oh. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Learning to live without you Saying goodbye to yesterday No looking back, I'm on my way I can believe but I'll do Doesn't matter what you're gonna say I pray to find a better day 